good and faithful servant. That's a word that every child of God should look forward to hearing from daddy. Every one of us. You, look, look. Um, I was talking with someone this morning and something came up and, and it was a challenge. And we talked about it to a point where I asked a question. We went back to that scripture that says, what will it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Now, the soul realm is where you think, you feel, your imagination, your emotions and all of that. Yes. What will it profit you as a spirit being to live this life? In a soul that is divided. In a mind that is everywhere else but in God's purpose for your life. The truth is that you will not have a real soul. You will not, your soul will not be intact if you are not in your purpose. Don't lie to yourself. Until you know the reason why you were created. Then you can truly have a soul life. You can truly have a soul that is in place. Because your spirit is wired to function with your soul your spirit is your when your soul function right with the spirit that you really are then your body will align to it then that trapotite being that you are like your daddy will function right what are we saying why are you here when you know the reason why you're here and you begin to leave that reason that scripture will not apply to you why because when you start gaining any other thing you're gaining you will not lose your soul the scripture what will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul applies to somebody who's not living in their purpose everything they will gain will take them out of their purpose everything they will gain will pull them out of their soul Everything they will gain will rip their soul apart. Why? Because your soul is fashioned to function with your spirit. Is it too deep? Okay, let's explain it in a simple way. Now, you are a spirit like we said. God created you. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. The only way you will function right is when your spirit man is doing the assignment the reason for which you're here your soul will align to it because god gave you the particular soul that goes with your spirit your body will align with it because your body is created to fit a particular soul and that soul is created to function in a particular spirit which we call you when you miss the focus the real thing the real person is the spirit so when you now as the spirit that you are discover the reason for which you're here and then you align your spirit man to that purpose your soul will not be in disorder your soul will align your spirit will align even when your soul is not lying you do what roman says you renew your soul you renew your soul with the word you renew your soul with fellowship and then even your body will align as well then that scripture for, for what will it profit a man to gain the whole world would not be your portion. So definitely, every single time you find yourself in anxiety, every time you find yourself trying to compare yourself with someone else, trying to run another person's race, the first thing that will be indicative to you is you have left your purpose. You've left the reason for which you were created. And now you're doing something else. True? Very true. True. But then it's easy. If you find yourself in that place, all you want to do is to ask yourself, these things that are coming into my life, is it an addition? We're going back to what? Matthew 3, Matthew 6.33. Because each time, every single time you align yourself with your purpose of, the purpose of God for your life, the Bible says what? That is called what? Seeking the kingdom first. When you do that, there's something called the additions of God then you begin to enjoy them at that point you cannot say uh, um what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul because everything that will be coming in is called the additions of god and the additions of god will never cause your soul to be lost your soul will be in perfect alignment your soul will be in perfect agreement and guess what at the end you do like paul i finish it i fought my fault and do what? And I run my race. 
Amen. So what are we saying? Know the reason for which you're here. And because you leave that reason, as you begin to leave that purpose, every other thing will be added to you. Amen. Amen.